reaching out to save a friend. Good intentions weren't enough to keep two people from getting hurt at a Madison County waterfall. News 13's John Lee tells us why some say they're lucky to be alive. I spoke to a man who witnessed the whole thing, a man and a woman falling down 50-foot falls. He says it's a miracle both of them survived. On Sunday afternoon, they'd just been talking about their great day and gorgeous scenery. That according to a local campground owner who says things turned ugly in an instant at 50-foot falls right off NC 209 near Henderson Drive. Elsie McCall told us he was there at the waterfall with Glenn Laughlin and Casey Taylor. According to the witness, the man dropped his lighter, then tried to grab it. At that point, he slipped. That's when Casey Taylor stepped in. She reached for him. They both ended up falling some 150 feet. Country Volunteer Fire Department assisted Hot Springs Fire in a rescue that took three hours. I had to uh, really do some, I would call it technical rescue to get them down, Stokes basket ropes, uh, things of that nature that really we don't do a lot of in this area. Dan Gallagher of Bluff Mountain Outfitters saw emergency vehicles rushing to the scene. Two ambulances and three fire trucks, et cetera, et cetera. We knew something bad was happening. We're told Laughlin was airlifted with head injuries and a punctured lung remaining in the hospital. Meanwhile, Taylor also had head trauma along with a broken ankle eventually released. All things considered, the accident could have been much worse. Gallagher says all it takes is a quick lapse in judgment. They just get excited over the nice day or whatever it is and they just lose track of safety. That's the, that's the problem. And that quickly, what starts as the best day ever, takes a turn for the worst. The witness, Elsie McCall, says Casey Taylor is nothing short of a hero. When she was finally pulled to safety, all she cared about was the safety of others. In Madison County, I'm John Lee, News 13.